Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. Today we're looking at Acid Rain World Field Armored Trailer Set. Looks pretty cool. I've taken the uh, plastic bag off, but haven't opened it yet. Uh, see what's inside. There seems to be like, what's that, four or five guns maybe? One, two, three guns, eight, four guns maybe. Two pumpkins, some boxes, and some other bits and bobs. Looks pretty cool. The artwork is fantastic. I really like that artwork there. Uh, let me open this up, turn the camera around, and let's take a look and see what it's like. So, let's look at this now. Okay, here it is. Um, it actually looks pretty awesome. Um, It's a set with no figures, so a bit, uh, uh, but actually it is really nice. Now, you cut, you get these... Uh, Two barriers. This is the F109, which I've had two of these before in which set? I cannot remember. But two like this before, uh, which you can put over there. We'll look at that in a minute. But obviously you need four to make a complete covering. Two pumpkins, and these are solid. These actually, I think these are just solid the way through. actually really quite heavy. Two nice pumpkins. Basic colouring, but effective. Look good. We have this uh, crate here, and you can take the lid off. Two barriers, these can go in either side if you want. We have four guns, so not three. So this gun we've seen before. Uh, barrel, does it rotate? I can't remember, yes it rotates. Um, if I remember rightly, one of these comes off. I think it's that one, but don't quote me on that. Uh, yeah, that one comes off. But it's very, very stiff. Uh, not worth it on this because you don't have the ammo chain to go in there. But very very nice gun gun number two we've seen already as well and this can come out and oh, blimey yes it can there you go and you can put an LED, an led in there if you so want if you're skilled like that really nice gun again gun number three we've seen already this uh rocket launcher the rocket does come out in the standard acid rain world style and gun number four, we've seen already two, with the perimeter defense kit or set. And I've put in the, uh, slid in the uh, ammo already. And there's a little clip here, which should just fold out, I hope. There we go. Holds down. And let me see. Looking at it, yeah, this is going to clip onto the back of the truck. And the gun will go in there. Uh, we also get two of these... Uh, bungee cords with hooks on both sides we get a combat knife which is nice we get a another hook for towing i'm assuming four grenades and lastly another attachment for towing or being towed i believe so the actual truck itself we can see here you can seat up to eight figures uh the wheels do go around underneath looks pretty cool you can see these turn and slide so you've got a hook going down i'm assuming this one is just to go upwards is that right yeah so now you can have it upwards instead so that's pretty cool and they go in and turn again obviously for stowing and there's one on each side both move uh Wheels free will not very well. Uh, the sides do come down. They're actually quite stiff. They're very nice. The paintwork is just heavily inked but looks great. Both sides move. Um, and then the fence part or the barrier part if I put in one side here. Be quite precise. One, two, three. There we go. So now I've got that little barrier in one side then the gun attachment you can see that it's got a slit and a hole here that's going to go over the uh, opening for the other barrier which I'm not going to attach now obviously just quickly do this off camera to make it a quick easier for me very simple that's on there and then this great big awesome gun should just, here we go, clip in there. Very nice. And obviously figures can hold that 
in their hands separately if they want. Very, very cool. So this is the opposite attachment of this one. So this one you saw me attach earlier. This can attach the other side. Or if you get another one, you can hook them together and you can tow. So they give you lots of possibilities here. All these guns we've seen before, the crates we've seen before. Uh, this is new, obviously. And the uh, pumpkins are new. Now to attach, how to work out how these barriers attach. Let me just get them in a different configuration. They will go together like this. And let me see. I think they will just slide over the top. Or maybe these parts we can see here and here will be involved somehow. Let me have a look, see how big it is first. Yeah, over the top. And if you look here, you can see here and here, these parts will slot into. I mean, quite precise. The only issue I'll say is with the weathering, it makes it almost too precise, but that was easy enough. And if I had the other two, I'd fit them over. Well, I've got them somewhere, but I've got like sort of hundreds of boxes and things packed in suitcases. Not sure where they are. So you can make a complete covering. You can have the gun coming out the back if you want. Very, very nice. Or if you want it instead, you can just take the gun off. You can put the other barrier on the other side. Okay, so the question people want to ask is how do figures fit side? Let me take this off first. Um, the only acid rain world figures I have at hand at the moment are maybe not the best ones. They're the Narinu ones because they have great articulation, but their sculpting gets in the way a little bit of their legs going forward. So let me try the Sentinel first. Plus also they're very, very bulky. And bear in mind, this doesn't look like it's made for bulky figures. So if I put my Sentinel in, yeah, the seats just feel too low. They need to be um higher up. Oops, this little shield came off there. Okay, so we have a quick look. He is sitting in that, but his legs have to be like this, which means a figure sitting opposite will struggle. If his legs are not like that, then what's going to happen is he's going to have his big angle going down. So let me try like that. Yeah, now he's leaning back. He hasn't got the hasn't got the articulation to a because of his sculpting to get his bum down properly. But don't let that put you off. I think it's absolutely fantastic. This is a great set. Uh, very very good. Give another idea of scale. If I pick up my new new sentinel again and stick him next to next to the actual armoured field trailer. You just get him in a stand-up pose. We get a better idea of his actual size. It's actually quite big. You see it's well over his waist. The actual back part here goes to about his hip, but this part is up to his trunk. So it's good size. If I grab my Joy Toy Marine who's lurking in the background, who's uh, the uh, 40k is obviously a big, big figure. It still scales well for him, but he would have trouble sitting in that. That goes to about his, just over his midsection, over his hips there too. This is really nice addition, I have to say. And this will work with the Stronghold for towing it. It will work with the Speeder Mark two for towing um i don't remember the speeder mark one the four the small one has a tow hook or not uh but this will work for stronghold and the speeder mark two i believe definitely the stronghold um very very nice and obviously you can have a double armored up matching in marine colors or in i forget what the f stands for now uh, or in these colors here or in your sand colors or whatever else very very cool not really for the uh the reno Yamato uh, Republic faction, but it is really, really nice. Great for all your 118 scale lines that are into uh, contemporary or military or even sci-fi. I think that will work very well. 
if I grab my fresh retro uh, mecha arms uh, special forces figure, which is a small 3.75 figure in current standards anyway, and he's sci-fi. That still works really well for him too. In fact, he would sit in that really nicely, I'd imagine, because he's got amazing articulation and he's not nothing going to get in the way of him sort of getting that pose he needs. We have a quick play with him here. Really good thing. I do recommend these. I'll stick these in a set of videos if you've not seen that review already. Worth getting some. Yeah, he can do it slightly better than the Renewer Sentinel. Look at his feet flat. You could get three of him across there. Just the shoulders make it awkward. If you've got your sort of skinny figures without the armor, then you could obviously fit more there. Great, great set. I think this is a winner. Not just because it's a nice trailer and you can put armor on it, but the amount of accessories you get, I mean, you get the bungee cords, which I'm not quite sure what you use these for at the moment. Um, strap things on the roof, strap things across. I don't know. So this is going across. This could, in theory, stretch all the way easily around. So you could strap things on the roof and so forth. Great for dioramas and so forth. And it's nice to get the pumpkins because you're supposed to get a pumpkin cart. Well, now we've got this. Very, very cool. Please like, share, subscribe, and click on the notification icon if you've not done so already. Stay up to date, latest news, reviews, videos from Awesome National News Channel. More things coming on an almost daily basis because I've got such a huge backlog of things to review and more things on the way. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye bye.